Uh, morning people This will be my first proper YouTube video uh, It's not gonna be super professional or anything like that um, I'm gonna call it Something like maybe a modern philosophy on life. I Just had a conversation with a friend over the phone Um I'm a normal person, just like you, everyone else there, uh, fell with my motorcycle at BMW to uh, come and try and sort the, the damage out. Anyways, um, <clears throat> the reason I'm making this video uh, is I want to talk about the speculation going around about uh, global income. Um, my thoughts on this global income is it will be a great thing. The reason for that is I think there are a lot of people in this world that don't really want to work. They're slaves to a system. They're slaves to this banking system. Um, they're slaves to other people. I've, I've got my own business. I employ six or seven people, eight people. Um, and not everyone wants to work. I live in South Africa. Uh, Africa in general, I don't think is the is the place in the world where uh, people really want to work. I think they come uh, in here as people that just want to rest and relax and maybe spend some time with family and friends. So the global income would be a great thing for Africans, especially. Now, what me and this friend were saying is, you know, what are these people going to do? They're just going to sit around. Half of our country uh, <laughs> only sit around. They don't do anything. They, um, our unemployment rate is upwards of 24, 25%, <laughs> which is a joke. Uh, we've got this minimum wage thing that creates more problems than solutions. So I honestly, truly believe that giving a global income would resolve a lot of problems. If people can sit at home and relax and spend time with uh, family and friends, let's say it's $500, uh, maybe a bit less, but in, in South Africa, $500 can go a long way. Um, a lot of people living here live with around $100, $250 a month, and then they're still looking after a lot of their family. As said so I think it'll be great if they want to sit at home and do nothing let them sit at home and do nothing um, people that still want to work and and grow in life and um, have money to buy nice motorcycles and nice BMW cars and so on uh, they will go and work if the people that don't want to do it let them be who they want to be I think that's one of the major problems that we have in this modern society. People are forced uh, to do and to be something they don't want to be and do stuff they don't want to do. Um, the reason for that is uh, not everyone wants to ride motorcycles. Not everyone wants to uh, live in big houses. Not everyone uh, wants to travel the world. Um, and that's fine but we sort of force people into a belief system that that is success and that is what you should do and whatever I think some souls just want to stay at home spend time with their family uh, keep their tummies full and that's also fine so I think the system will sort, it, sort itself out naturally as time progresses um, and uh, as long as people have a roof and something to eat, it's not necessary for them to work. And if they don't want to work, let them be. That's my thoughts on it. Uh, drop a comment. Um, I know this video is most probably in most people's minds very unprofessional. Uh, I just want to see if I get any feedback, if it's worth it talking about stuff like this more. I'm going to keep it short for now. Um, I'll go into some deeper thoughts if I get any comments, uh, people are interested. I'll go into the minimum wage problem in South Africa, uh, maybe around the world. I understand South Africa because I live here. So let me go. Let me know. Cheers, guys.